Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to thank you uh, for being here tonight and in preparation for Thanksgiving next Thursday. How many people are going to celebrate that holiday? Raise your hand. Yeah, probably everybody, right? Now, we have a lot to be thankful for, don't we? And so this is kind of a pre-Thanksgiving message, just about three minutes long, if you don't mind. Uh, we have a lot to be thankful for in this country, a lot of freedom. And I just want to start out getting us to think about our families, okay? How many people are grateful to God for their families, their mother, their fathers? Amen. They're still alive? Your grandparents? You know, we all celebrate... Every year, we get together with a grateful uh, Thanksgiving dinner, the mashed potatoes, the gravy, the turkey, right? The corn, maybe the beans. What else is there? Stuffing. Come on, you name it. Cranberries? Corn. Corn, yes. And then for dessert, we have apple pie, pecan pie. What else? Pumpkin pie. Ah, the ham. Yes, yeah, some, people, some people eat ham. And so we get together as a family with our mothers and fathers, our brothers and sisters. God says to honor your father and mother, right? That your days may be long upon the land which God gives you. So we need to honor our father and mother. That's the fifth commandment. We need to be thankful for our parents, no matter what environment we were brought up in. Some of you came from normal families. Others came from broken homes. Maybe you lived with your stepfather or your stepmother. Maybe you were adopted. It really doesn't matter. I came from a broken home, never knew my dad. Uh, I lived with my aunt and uncle for three or four years, and then I went to a foster home. So you know what? I'm still grateful for the, for the providence of God in watching over me through all those years, and you ought to be also. Also, our friends. How many people here have at least one friend that's really close to you, like a brother or sister? At least one. We all do, right? The Bible says there's a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. And that friend, of course, is Jesus Christ. He says, you are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. So we all have friends. And sometimes we wonder how close those friends are to us. Sometimes our friends are very faithful to us. They might even get up in the middle of the night and walk a mile to give us a gallon of gasoline if we broke down and ran out of gas, but very few would. So you need to be thankful, though, for all your friends and to help your friends. Pray for your friends. Do good to your friends because they're not going to always be around. You know, people die every day as it is appointed to men once to die, but after this is the judgment. I've lost a lot of friends in the last five to ten years, and I'm sure you have too family members and friends. And then think about things like the necessities of life, like food. We all have to eat food, and we're celebrating food tonight to some degree. Everybody's grabbing something to eat, it seems like. Our bodies have to have food to survive, right? We need to be thankful to God for that. In fact, a lot of times families get together, they don't even pray anymore. That's something that used to do a hundred years ago, but not too many families do that anymore. But the Bible says, whatsoever you do, whether you eat or drink, do all to the glory of God. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Water, likewise, we need water. Your body needs water. Be thankful for that. Don't take it for granted. Jesus said he's the water of life. And that's the true water that fills us up to overflowing. The fountain of life. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. One or two minutes. One minute. We've got about a minute left here. So we have food and water, and then let the. Uh, how about how about clothing? You know, we take that for granted. Adam and Eve were born into an environment without sin. They were naked, but they didn't know it. But when they sinned, it brought shame, and they were naked. And God clothed them. So we have to wear clothes today. And we ought to be thankful to God that we have enough money to buy clothes. It doesn't cost that much to cover our bodies. But nevertheless, even having things like food and clothing, that we are to be content and to be happy and to be content. And then lastly, the foundation, which is Jesus Christ, the rock. No other foundation can any man lay but that which is laid. Jesus is the rock. Not St. Peter. No. Jesus said, upon this rock I will build my church. 
and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. That's the foundation upon which every man and woman must rest. The rock, the foundational, foundational truth. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes into the Father but by me. So may I encourage you all to seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Give thanks to God in everything. And let this coming Thanksgiving celebration be one of thanksgiving and praise. May the Lord bless all of you. Thank you. Is that all right? God bless you, brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good celebration.